Shankar ji ki jata se 
to resist temptations and to control the mind. Free us from egoism, lust, greed, anger and hatred. Fill our hearts with divine virtue. Let us be holy in all these names and forms. Let us serve thee in all these names and forms. Let us ever remember thee. Let us be ever loyal to thee. Let us ever sing thy glories. Let thy name be ever on our lips. Let us abide in thee forever and ever. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. O all merciful Gurudev, every thought of my mind, every emotion of my heart, every movement of my being, every feeling and every sensation, each cell of my body, each drop of my blood, all, all is yours, Gurudev, yours absolutely, yours without any reserve. Gurudev, you can decide my life or my death, my happiness or my sorrow, my pleasure or my pain. Gurudev, whatever you do with me, whatever comes to me from you, will lead me to your lotus feet. Gurudev, you have provided us with the best facilities in the world for our spiritual growth. May we take full advantage of this precious gift of yours, Gurudev. May we look upon the ashram, and all its contents as your body and treat them with love and reverence. This is our heartfelt prayer to you, Gurudev. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Deva Deva Shivananda Dinabandhu Ahima Deva Deva Shivananda Dinabandhu Ahima Chandra Bandana Mandahasa Timarupa Rakshama Chandra Bandana Mandahasa Timarupa Rakshama Madhuri Gita Gana Lola Yana Rupa Pahima Madhuri Gita Gana Lola Yana Rupa Pahima Samast Loka Pujitaya Mohananga Rakshama Samastaloka Pujitaya Mohananga Rakshama Divya Ganga Tirabhasa Tanishira Pahima Divya Ganga Tirabhasa Tanishira Pahima Pahalina Punya Shira Parma Purusha Rakshama Pahalina Punya Shira Parma Purusha Rakshama Hatha Loka Vidaya Swami Nada Pahima Loka in the Vasa Swami Nada Pahima Sitsurupa Shivananda Namashivaya Rakshama Sitsurupa Shivananda Namashivaya Rakshama Shivananda, 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 Pahima. Shivananda, 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 Pahima. Shivananda, 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 Rakshama. Shivananda, Shivananda, 
ಶಿವಾನಂದ ಸತ್ಗುರು ಜಯ ಸತ್ಗುರು ಜಯ ಸತ್ಗುರು ಜಯ ಕಾಹಿ ಸತ್ಗುರು ಜಯ ಸತ್ಗುರು ಜಯ ಸತ್ಗುರು ಜಯ ಕಾಹಿ ಸತ್ಗುರು ಜಯ ಸತ್ಗುರು ಜಯ ಸತ್ಗುರು ಜಯ ರಕ್ಷಮ ಸತ್ಗುರು ಜಯ ಸತ್ಗುರು ಜಯ ಸತ್ಗುರು ಜಯ ರಕ್ಷಮ ಗಂಗಾರಾಣಿ 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 ಪಾಲಿ ಗಂಗಾರಾಣಿ 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 ಪಾಲಿ ಭಾಗೀರಥಿ 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 ರಕ್ಷಮ ಭಾಗೀರಥಿ 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 ರಕ್ಷಮ ದೇವೇವ ಶಿವಾನಂದ ದೀನಬಂಧು ಪಾಲಿ ದೇವ ಶಿವಾನಂದ ದೀನಬಂಧು ಪಾಲಿ ಚಂದ್ರಬಂಧಾಸ ಪ್ರೇಮ ರೂಪ ರಕ್ಷಮ ಚಂದ್ರಬಂಧಾಸ ಪ್ರೇಮ ರೂಪ ರಕ್ಷಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜೈ ರಾಮ ಜೈ ಜೈ ರಾಮೋ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜೈ ರಾಮ ಜೈ ಜೈ ರಾಮ ಓ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜೈ ರಾಮ ಜೈ ಜೈ ರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜೈ ರಾಮ ಜೈ ಜೈ ರಾಮ ಓ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜೈ ರಾಮ ಜೈ ಜೈ ರಾಮ ಓ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜೈ ರಾಮ ಜೈ ರಾಮ ಜೈ ಜೈ ರಾಮ 
शिवानंद जय जय राम हो भगवान शिवानंद जय जय राम हो श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम हो श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओ श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम चंद्र कृपालु भज मन हरन भव भय दारूनम श्री राम नवकंज लोचन कंज मुख कर कंज पद कंजारूनम श्री राम चंद्र कृपालु भज मन हरन भव भय दारूनम श्रीरूम श्रीरा भजो दीन बंधु दीनेश दानव दैत्यवंश निकंदन भजोदीन बंधु दिनेश दानव दैत्यवंश निकंदन रघुनंद आनंद कंद कौशल चंद दशरथ नंदन श्रीराम चंद्र कृपालु भज मन हरन भव भय दारूनम
my Saraswati to him. I make my salutation. Rama, 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 Sita, Rama, 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 Sita. He who draws near the Lama, he who worships the flowers of love, he who adores the Holy warriors to him, I make my salutation. Rama, 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 Sita, Rama, 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 Sita. He who worship the Bhaktas and Saints, he who served the fields and the quiet, he who protected the birds and animals to him, I make my salutation. Rama, 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 Sita, Rama, 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 Ram 
Shivanandaya, Hari Om to all. On behalf of our Divine Master, Sri Swami Shivananda and Puja Swami Sahajananda, we extend a warm and cordial welcome to all our Shri Guru, uh, on our Sri Gurudev's 136th birth anniversary satsang. A special welcome to devotees and officials from our branches those who have traveled from afar, and those who have come for the first time. If you have come for the first time, then please collect a gift pack of literature from our bookstall after satsang. We now read from Guru Bhakti Yoga, 
by Sri Swami Shivananda. O Ram, that which quickens God realization and that which bestows awareness is initiation from the Guru. If you cannot see God in the Guru, in whom else will you see God? The Guru can help the disciple only when the disciple opens his heart freely to him. Before sincere and loyal to your friends, ideals to your guru or spiritual preceptor, be sincere to that. Guru Dakshna covereth a multiple and a multitudes of sins. Dakshna given to the guru is a great purifier of the heart. I will now read a special message on Sri Gurudev's birthday. Om Namo Bhagavate Shivanandaya. My salutations and prostrations at the lotus feet of our Divine Master, Sri Swami Shivananda. On the 3rd September, we had a grand celebration for Gurudev's birthday. We thank all of you for once again assembling to give honor to our beloved master. Gurudev was perhaps one of the most easygoing and accommodating spiritual masters we know of. If his devotees gave him an overcoat, he would use it. If they gave him sunglasses or a fancy hat, he would use them. He accepted all for who they were. He accommodated them and encouraged each one to evolve according to their own tastes and temperaments. He spiritualized and divinized all activities and converted them to a spiritual discipline. He gave in to his devotees like Bholanath. He also was compassionate and all loving. By the grace of our Divine Master, we are happy to report that the first concrete for our foundations at the new ashram in Beklu, Santan, was poured today. Thank you, Gurudev. Today, we acknowledge and appreciate this benevolence, love, and mercy we receive from Gurudev each day. We give thanks and appreciation that even though we have a million shortcomings. Gurudev has taken each and every one of us under his care. The protection and guidance that we get for just sitting at his feet is unmeasurable. He provides all our needs and wants. Today, we must also ask ourselves, what are we giving in return? What gifts are we giving to Gurudev for his birthday? It is true that Gurudev needs nothing from us. But we need to be true to the reason we are here. Ashram is not a social meeting ground. It is a place of discipline, sadhana, and an institution of learning. Pujay Swami Sahajananda said, that we are not just here to glorify Gurudev. We must do more. We must resolve to make positive changes so that we can benefit from the spiritual environment we have been blessed with. Let each individual choose their own offering and resolve to keep the resolve with full dedication as an offering at Sri Gurudev's feet. Let us make our offering on this most sacred and auspicious birth anniversary of Sri Gurudev. On behalf of all devotees, we wish Sri Gurudev a very happy birthday. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. We'll continue with satsang.
we have gathered here to think about some aspects of our Gurudev's life. Gurudev, I will talk to you in the form of, in a, in a direct way. You were born a hundred years ago. We really don't know who you were in your past birth. All that we know is that the Absolute Brahman took a name on form, like all the great saints. They are none other than the manifestation of the Supreme Being. The whole world is a manifestation of God. So the whole world is really your form. We can give that form any name. We can call it Ramakrishna, we can call it Jesus, we can call it Buddha. But when that Absolute took a form, this time we took the form of Shivananda. We don't know much about your early days, but we are told that after you had taken sannyas and became a great saint, a number of your relatives went to the ashram. And we heard that they were always talking about your boyhood days. But being a sannyasin and not wanting to teach, uh, wanting to teach, uh, teach the disciples that they should not be attached to their family, you packed off all your relatives in two days. You gave them only two or three days to stay and packed them off. Only stray bits we know that in your own words you said you were a mischievous boy, like all boys are. And the Moima said that this is a message for children. See? If you obey your parents and teachers, then you can afford to be a little naughty. We are told that you are very fond of sweets, and your mother would prepare a big, good quantity and share it out amongst all your brothers and should also keep a stock. And we are told that you will be the first one to finish your sweets and if the other brothers were slow, then you polish their sweets also. <laughs> and like all our children, you didn't miss the sweets that were kept in the cupboard. Another trick of yours was to jump into a dry well in order to frighten your family to show also how brave you are. But Shuddhanda Bharatiya said that even in those days you were born with the vision of God. See? You are not born like the ordinary people, you are born sage and siddha. He told me in Madras while I was sitting that since he was your boyhood mate, that you ran out with a plate of food when you heard the cry of a beggar. It is one name that we can give to you, it is compassion. Love was born in your heart. Even from your childhood days, you only saw with the eye of God. When your father sent you to buy fruit for the worship, you distribute some of the fruit to the beggars and tell your father, I have already worshipped God in the poor. Would we think of that? Would we share our plate of food today? Even today, you have written, that when we have a cup of milk, we must think about someone else. Do we think about others? That was the vision that you had. You were very active, very clever in school, always coming out first, very bold. You like to do exercise, and you get up very early in the morning at three o'clock. Your father didn't like it. But you used to put the blanket and pillow in such a way to show that you were asleep. But all the time you were doing your exercise in the morning. You were a high-class Brahmin and your parents were very orthodox. So when a low-caste person taught you fencing and your parents didn't like that you should associate with him, you immediately went and garlanded the person and prostrated to him. So even from the very early days, God shone through you. You only saw God. Then you took to the medical career because that was natural to you, healing. And there also you gave and gave. You started the Ambrosia. We still have a copy of I have one bound volume of the Ambrosia that you published. 
around about 1910, it's about 70 years, 75 years, 77 years old. And when I turned the pages of the Ambrosia, I see that even there you had the spiritual touch. You wrote various articles, but your name was not there always. You wrote under various names. You shared that knowledge. You were very shy to go out for money. You didn't go out for subscriptions. Often you went to the person to ask for subscription, but you didn't have the courage to beg, because you were only meant to give. You are not a beggar. We are begging from you. We are the beggars. You are very studious. You said that even in the first year when you are doing medicine, you could answer the fifth year paper because you had a photographic brain. Whatever you saw, you absorbed. You demonstrated the yogic powers even in the later days. When you saw a person, you would recognize the person even after twenty years. I was standing one day when the famous evangelist, I think his name was Thompson, I was standing next to you and he said, Oh, I saw you twenty years ago. And the person was blinking. Perhaps you were just walking in Dishikesh and the Master saw him. So whatever he saw was registered in his mind. So having finished your medical career, you are very adventurous. So you went to Malaya to serve the people in the plantations. I remember about um, ten years ago when we were manufacturing desks for the African schools, we imported some timber from Malaya. And I was so happy to see that it came from Johor Bahru, the place where you are working. So that timber was sanctified by your atmosphere. You are never, you are always positive in your attitude when you went for a job and the manager of the hospital asked whether you can manage one hospital, you immediately said, I can manage three and you got the job. And everywhere in Malaya you are known for your wonderful heart. You are called the heart of love. The bank managers loved you, they would cash your check any time. The train station masters would delay the train, the ship would delay, all for your sake. With such love you served, when a lady needed your, your help, you stayed whole night outside in the veranda, see, in case she needed your help later on also. Whatever you did, you did to perfection. There was no half-heartedness like we do. Even later on you said that, I never did anything in halves. Whatever I did, I did to perfection. Perfection was your name. Narayana, 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 Narayana,
she came here this evening to give us this beautiful performance of hers. And in the, as a token of appreciation, as a token of appreciation, I'll call upon Srimati Madhu Patel to hand a token to her. Thank you very much, Diaksha, for your rendition. Let it be. 
चांद सितारे सब में है उसकी ही छाया एक वही सच है इस जग में और सभी कुछ है बस माया फिरता है वो करता है Please take note of the following announcements. Today, we offer on the shrine the leaves of our five tree, tree bhaktas on Shivananda Avenue at SICC. Bhagirati, Saraswati, Godavari, Yamuna, and Ganga, who usually make their offerings to our Divine Master on his birthday. These trees are unique to the area. Pujay Swamiji has said, that they are probably inhabited by great beings. All are lovingly invited to attend the following forthcoming functions. Our yoga retreat will take place on Sunday, 17th September at Shivananda International Cultural Center, La Mercy, commencing at 6 a.m. and concluding at 3 p.m. The program caters for the whole family, and all are invited to participate in this unique spiritual experience. Highlights of the program are items by guest artists, the fun-filled 30 seconds game based on our Hindu scriptures, and a relaxed fun walk. Breakfast and lunch prasad will be served as well as afternoon tea. The most auspicious Ganesh Chaturthi will take place on Monday, 18 September at the Shivananda Reservoir Hills Ashram. Ganga Aarti will commence at 5.30 p.m. followed by satsang. Devotees are reminded that we are running our Sunday schools and the Shivananda Academy at this ashram 
at some, and some of our branches also. We encourage all to invest in the spiritual well-being of our children and grandchildren and to please bring them to attend to these classes. The program caters for children in all age groups. Please contact our officials for further details. Please take note of our catering arrangements this evening. Ladies, you will please proceed to the bottom dining hall and the display center next door. For our men, the men will proceed to the Vishwananda Hall adjacent to the old prayer hall. I suggest that you do not take your shoes if you are pass put on your shoes if you are passing through this way for the men. Please visit our bookstall for our latest centenary publications, CDs, attractive picture frames, and home shrines are available. Our three-month calendar containing details of our functions until 1st October is also available. Our 2024 calendars are also on sale. There is a special with the calendars for, with 12 calendars for 100 rands, which means for 12, for 12 calendars you are paying 100 rands. Today we also release our Divine Life Master, sorry, our Divine Life Magazine number 136. These are available from our bookstall. Pujay Swamiji has given elaborate descriptions in our books of the value of the Mahamitranjay Mantra, Agni Hotra, and the Sri Hanuman Chalisa. Devotees are urged to continue with these practices regularly for their own safety and protection. Agnihotra will help to bring rain. As per Pujay Swamiji's advice, the Mahamitranjay Mantra should be repeated all the time while driving. If we cannot repeat the mantra all the time, then it should be repeated as much as possible. It will help to prevent accidents, robberies, hijackings, and other calamities. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Namo Bhagavate Shivanandaya 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 Om Namo Bhagavate Om Triyambakam Yajame Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Yavandhanam Vrityol Mukshyamavitat Om Triyambakam Yajame Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Yavandhanam Vrityol Mukshyamavitat Om Triyambakam Yajame Sukhanthin Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Yavandhanam Vrityol Mukshyamavitat Om Triyambakam Yajame Sukhanthin Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Yavandhanam Vrityol Mukshyamavitat Om Triyambakam Yajame Sukhanthin Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Yavandhanam Vrityol Mukshyamavitat Om Triyambakam Yajame Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Yavandhanam Vrityol Mukshyamavritat Om Triyambakam Yajame Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Yavandhanam Vrityol Mukshyamavritat Om Triyambakam Yajame Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Yavandhanam Vrityor Mukshyamavritat Om Triyambakam Yajame Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Yavandhanam Vrityor Mukshyamavritat Om Triyambakam Yajame Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Yavandhanam 
ಸಹವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ್ವಾಹೆ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವದೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾಪಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶ್ರೀ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೀ ಜೈ